This is Seth Schaefer of Team Just Cause Robotics. This video will be a full event recap from Sword Fall 2019, complete with fight commentary and discussing my repairs and modifications between fights. Sword is a combat robot event held in the fall and spring hosted by the Penn College of Technology Sword Club. At this event, 1 pound ant weight and 3 pound beetle weight bots fight for victory. Typically, combat robot matches are 1v1, but not at this event. Here, the ant weights were entered into a traditional double elimination style tournament, but beetles were entered into a series of three bot rumbles to score points, which would be used to seed a final single elimination tournament of the top eight robots. Each beetle was guaranteed three rumble fights. For each fight, each competitor got one point for competing. Then, the winner got three, second place got two, and last place got one. Additionally, for pushing a bot into the pit or knocking it out by disabling it, you were awarded one point. So if a bot knocked both opponents out and won, it would get six points for that match, which was the maximum for a single match. Division, unfortunately, didn't qualify for the top eight, but it did quite well overall and I'm happy with its performance. I'm working on putting together a full Division V 2.5 overview video, so look forward to that in the future. My first fight would be against Barr, who I'd never heard of, and Voxel, which I knew to be a pretty powerful and incredibly fast drum spinner. Voxel can be seen here utterly destroying another bot. Let's see how my fight went. We have Division. Division, are you ready? He is ready. And in the red square, we have Barr. Barr, are you ready? He is ready. Alright. In three, two, one, fight! So right away here you see Voxel launching me because his weapon's spinning at a far faster RPM than mine. Unfortunately here you can see the uh, belt comes off my weapon so I don't have it for the rest of the match. Thankfully this proves not to be much of an issue because Voxel immediately pits himself. So the remainder of this match is pretty much just a shoving match. Uh, thanks to, I think, the driver of Voxel's father for taking this footage from further away from the arena than my camera was. You can see my girlfriend holding my camera and unfortunately the footage is a little shaky so I'm using some of this other footage. <laughs> So here I pretty much found that I was able to out-wedge Barr pretty effectively. Barr's drive was like sort of kind of working at best here and the weapon had basically completely stopped so I was kind of trying to get him into the pit but wasn't quite able to manage it. The rest of this match was pretty much just me pushing Bar around in some vain attempts to get him into the pit and also making sure as best that I could that I wouldn't accidentally drive into the pit. One minute remaining. Get a nice little slam in there. Thirty seconds remaining. Bar At this point, Bar seems to have gotten high centered on the floor somehow, and with what little mobility he had beforehand, he appears to have been completely disabled. So this was a relatively easy win despite having lost my weapon and uh, unfortunately I didn't really get to show what Division could do in this fight but I was mainly concerned with the reliability issues I was having with the weapon. My uh, motor shaft sheared off 
and the pulley managed to completely get ripped off and hit by my own weapon, so I found out this was most likely caused by the pulley being shoved over too far due to the new motor mount having a pocket in it that pushed the motor over about an eighth of an inch closer to the weapon. So I added a spacer that I cobbled together by cutting up one of the brushless motor mounts and uh, was hoping that that would fix the issue. So now on to the next fight. This was a fight against another two robots that I had never fought before. Underdoge 2, a pretty powerful horizontal spinner or undercutter with two different configurations, and Scrambles TDD, which turned out to be a pretty powerful bar spinner. So right off the bat, got some weapon-to-weapon -weapon contact, and then I was able to get a really nice angle and just demolish one of the wheels on Underdoge 2. For some reason, for the life of me, I couldn't get any bite on him after that. Not for lack of trying, kept running the weapon faster and faster, but just absolutely nothing happening. All right, Seth, we get so, it. <laughs> I don't know why, but from pretty much the first moment of this fight, uh, Scrambles TDD had lost its left side drive. So, I could have probably just let him be counted out, but I mean, I'm that would be no fun. <laughs> Do it! Yeah, so he Please lost you can stop right. both his Seth, wheels. I, swear to God. I don't know why, but unfortunately, no! once again, my pulley got ripped off. This time I'm pretty sure, though, because the pulley looked completely unscathed with just the motor shaft still inside of it, that it had torqued out because of the force of the motor instantly coming to a stop. So the damage from this fight was not insignificant. Not only did my uh, weapons pulley rip off again, and the motor shaft with it, but my weapon disc was utterly trashed after this fight, and uh, everybody was extremely surprised, including myself, to see just how badly bent it got. I think that it was because of this fight that Division ultimately ended up winning the Most Destroyed Robot Award at this event. However, I had to contend with more than just repairs before my next fight, because my next fight would be up against Shrapnel, one of the most vicious horizontal spinners that has ever come to S.W.O.R.D. In fact, the builder of Shrapnel is one of the professors at the Penn College of Technology, and has been at the event for probably about as long as it's been running, and done pretty well at it every single time. Hey. Right off the bat here, I make a driving error where I stop too quickly while the weapon is still spinning up, which launches me into this mess. Uh, Division clearly returning to its lightweight deep six roots, but because I had the smooth pulley on, it seems like there was no issue from the weapon stopping every time I hit the floor, and I was able to keep going. Got a nice good hit on shrapnel there. The uh, D2 kit is called Siren. That I was also fighting against was making things a bit difficult, though. I feel like if I was taking on Shrapnel one on one, this would have been a lot easier. So here, Shrapnel actually comes in and hits me from behind, which is why that wedge ripped off. And unfortunately, after that crazy amount of bouncing around, one of the uh, solder joints that was connecting a phase of my brushless motor for the weapon popped off, so I no longer had weapon during this fight. But for once, there were no mechanical failures. So here, uh, Shrapnel's weapon seemed to have slowed down somewhat for whatever reason, and I was able to kind of push him around. I was doing my best to keep my uh, one good titanium wedge in contact with him instead of him being able to chew up the internals that were now exposed to him. Titanium Wedge holding up extremely well against all the horizontals I faced here, but eventually he was able to get a lucky hit in and grabbed a wire for my drive motor and actually just unplugged it. And then I ended up stuck on my back here doing not quite the thing, but stuck in a compromising position since I couldn't spin up the weapon. 
So at this point I was counted out and I just had to watch the remainder of this fight play out where Siren was trying to shove uh, Shrapnel into the pit while Shrapnel figured out his weapon issues. I was now functioning as a something of an obstacle in the middle of the arena. You could hear Shrapnel starting to get up to speed again for sure. I'm trying to figure out the best angle to exist at, where he doesn't get into the soft spots inside my robot if he bounces over my way. Unfortunately, I had no real way of avoiding some of these hits, though. Quite a few chunks of foam taken off from not only Siren's wheels, but also my own. So all in all, I'd say this event was pretty successful for Division. I still have to work out some of the mechanical reliability issues for the weapon, but at least I've solved the issue where I had to replace a weapon ESC after every single fight by using a 50 amp one. Uh, the titanium front wedges hold up a lot better than the aluminum previous ones did, and uh, most of the damage I sustained here was really just one failed 3D printed piece. Uh, slight bends to the aluminum side panels and then a lot of nicks in the wheels primarily. So pretty fixable stuff and I'm hoping that Division will be back stronger than ever for its next competition. Just tune into the channel for the next video where I will do more of a deep dive into what modifications I made between Franklin and this event to make Division V2 into Division V2.5 and the process that I went through to make these titanium wedges. This has been Seth Schaefer of Team Just Cause Robotics. Thanks for watching.